Ethiopia appears on the brink of civil war. Abiy Ahmed, the country's prime minister, has ordered a military offensive against Tigray province. His government also declared a six-month state of emergency in the region. Ahmed accuses the Tigrayans of raiding an army base to seize military assets. He said there were many martyrs, injuries, and property damage during a televised address to the nation. The TPLF, Tigray People's Liberation Front, have been left out of the current ruling coalition. They had been represented in the government since the defeat of the Derg regime in the early 90s. After national elections were postponed this year due to the coronavirus, the TPLF held their own provincial polls. They accuse Ahmed of illegally holding on to power. After the regional voting, there have been numerous incidents of ethnic violence. On Wednesday, Tigrayan officials said that Ethiopian soldiers stationed there had defected. The response from Addis Ababa was that this is false information. Internet has been shut down in Tigray, leading many to expect an imminent attack. Such a conflict would certainly tarnish Ahmed's Nobel Peace Prize, awarded just last year. The Ethiopian leader was recognized for political reforms at home and creating ties with former enemy Eritrea. The U.S. Embassy in Addis Ababa is urging restraint from both the government and the TPLF. But the Americans may have lost their leverage with Ahmed's administration when President Donald Trump suspended aid and suggested that Egypt bomb the great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. ADN-TV will continue to post updates on the brewing conflict in Ethiopia.